the side to side kicks. Tricky exercise, but really effective exercise as well. So the best way to prepare for this exercise is actually to learn the two step. Two step means plank position. I cross one leg to the side and I kick. You see when I cross, my leg is bent. So all of the foot is on the floor, like the balls of the feet are on the floor to be stable here. I'm never in this position, here I'm not stable and I can get injured much easier. So from here, I kick, okay? So one more time, plank position, you step out. Try to not step too close at this one, step far out, okay? And now I kick, kick the leg up straight. And now from here, I wanna switch to the other side with a direct jump. Now we do it with stepping. So I step, step, cross, kick to the other side. So you see that now, right leg is on the floor, stable again, leg is extended. I come back into plank. And now the switch directly, actually you can start with less range of motion. And as you progress more and more, you, get for, you go for more range of motion, of course. So let's start very with small steps. Small step here, one, two. And now I switch and I don't do the steps. I go directly to the other side. You see that? Switch, switch. As I switch, I support my body weight with my arms. So lean forward, it will give you more time to switch. If I'm already here, I will bump a lot on the floor. It's gonna be much harder. From the side, look at my shoulders. I'm here, I'll be forward, forward, forward. And not here. Here is not gonna work. You see my hips are way too high. I don't use my shoulders. Try not to do that. So it is an exercise that requires a lot of shoulder strength, a lot of core strength as well. And again, stability from the legs and the feeling of how your body moves through this exercise. So once you progress, you can just go for more and more range. And the leg that is extended here works like a pendulum, you see? I use this swing from here, bam, to bring me to the other side. This, I kick back and I swing, 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 swing. You see that? So one more time. Small steps, I start with small steps. Even here, I swing, swing, swing. With time, I go for more range, you see? Now much more range, I'm closer to my hand. And I can keep playing with that. That is another option to do it on the elbows as well, if you want. I think on the elbows it's harder because you have less distance to the floor. Elbows, same. Here, swing, 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 swing. Hips are a bit higher to keep this height also because you have to support from your leg. One last progression I want to give you that you can also try. I also have that in the training app, in the programs, on the workouts, where you jump directly sideways, but you always jump back to plank. Bam. I jump sideways, kick, back to plank. Kick, back to plank. Also a nice option to work on different progressions. Remember, one more time. First, learn this one, two step. Then learn small jumps, back to plank, small jumps. You can make them further. And then start with small jumps directly. And then go for more and more range. Okay, swinging side to side kicks. Amazing exercise, much more effective than mountain climbers, I think. <laughs> Try it out, figure it out, let's go.